question and now so this evening we will study from daniel and to see whether are we still caterpillar we are born again we have taken the baptism and is the transformation taking place in our day to day life to become like a butterfly and fly butterfly when you look at you know it will be very pleasing you show to the children take to the butterfly garden and show them in fact in the mysore city there is a butterfly garden you know a lot of varieties and you know children will be jumping and excited but if you see a caterpillar they will run away because if the caterpillar touches you it will be you will be scratching your body itching you don't like you know we cannot be like that we have to be transform transform to become like him and as a butterfly fly high that's the aim that's the aim that's the goal that is why we run the race christian race like okay may i request you see to read uh, daniel chapter 1 and also second chapter few words i will appreciate you can take your bible and uh, you follow it as it is read you know it is not that who speaks how powerfully speaks what he speaks you know the word of god the word of god should have a grip on our life you know as you listen to god's word recognize his voice you know even god can speak through a donkey that is not a big issue but are we listening are we concentrating are we recognizing god's voice what he you know brings to our heart you know so please pick up your bible as it is read yeah okay hepsi in the third year of the reign of jehoiakim king of juda nebuchadnezzar king of babylon came to jerusalem and besieged it and the lord delivered jehoiakim king of juda into his hand along with some of the articles from the temple of god these he carried off to the temple of his god in babylonia and put in the treasure house of his god then the king ordered ashpenaz chief of his court officials to bring into the king's service some of the israelites from the royal family and the nobility young men without any physical defect handsome showing aptitude for every kind of learning well informed quick to understand and qualified to serve in the king's palace he was to teach them the language and literature of the babylonians the king assigned them a daily amount of food and wine from the king's table they were to be trained for 3 years and after that they were to enter the king's service among those who were chosen were some from juda daniel hananiah mishael and azariah the chief official gave them new names to daniel the name belteshazzar to hananiah shadrach to mishael meshach and to azariah abednego but daniel resolved not to defile himself with the royal food and wine and he asked the chief official for permission not to defile himself this way now god had caused the official to show favor and compassion to daniel but the official told daniel i am afraid of my lord the king who has assigned your food and drink why should he see you looking worse than the other young men your age the king would then have my head because of you daniel then said to the god whom the chief official had appointed over daniel hanania mishael nazariah please test your servants for 10 days give us nothing but vegetables to eat and water to drink then compare our appearance with that of the young men who eat the royal food and treat our your servants in accordance with what you see so he agreed to this and tested them for 10 days at the end of the 10 days they looked healthier and better nourished than any of the young men who ate the royal food so the god took away their choice food and the wine they were to drink and gave them vegetables instead 
to these four young men god god gave knowledge and understanding of all kinds of literature and learning and daniel could understand visions and dreams of all kinds at the end of the time set by the king to bring them into his service the chief official presented them to nebuchadnezzar the king talked with them and he found none equal to daniel hananiah mishael and azariah so they entered the king's service in every matter of wisdom and understanding about which the king questioned them he found them 10 times better than all the magicians and enchanters in his whole kingdom and daniel remained there until the first year of king cyrus yeah second chapter yeah second chapter 1 through 4 uh, in the second year of his reign nebuchadnezzar had dreams his mind was troubled and he could not sleep so the king summoned the magicians enchanters sorcerers and astrologers to tell him what he had dreamed when they came in and stood before the king he said to them i have had a dream that troubles me and i want to know what it means then the the astrologers answered the king may the king live forever tell your servants the dream and we will interpret it verses 12 uh, to 19 this made the king so angry and furious that he ordered the execution of all the wise men of babylon so the decree was issued to put the wise men to death and men were sent to look for daniel and his friends to put them to death when arioch the commander of the king's guard had gone out to put to death the wise men of babylon daniel spoke to him with wisdom and tact he asked the king's officer why did the king issue such a harsh decree arioch then explained the matter to daniel at this daniel went into the king and asked for time so that he might interpret the dream for him it's anania mishael and azariah he urged them to plead for mercy from the god of heaven concerning this mystery so that he and his friends might not be executed with the rest of the wise men of babylon during the night the mystery was revealed to daniel in a vision then daniel praised the god of heaven thank you hepsi shall we just look to god in prayer father we thank you for the words we have read o master from daniel we pray that we may be able to listen to you recognize what you speak to us in our individual and family life in the life of the church and give us a heart of obedience bless our time together in jesus name we pray amen <clears throat> and now look at that you know daniel daniel mean god is my judge that is the meaning of the name okay but that was changed at belsasar by uh, nebugat neza okay that is bel will protect the life that's the name of the god their god position kept you at the age of 15 you know he was taken now you know nebugat nechar he is going to jerusalem and he wants to pick up you know he uh, got victory there and wanted to pick up some of the young people people handsome with wisdom and skill he wanted to train them the royal training to be given and use them in the administration okay so he was taken as a uh, captive and along with him there are three friends and whose names were changed as shadrach meshach and abednego and you know should know these people were trained as jewish prophet of royal descent and you know they were nazarite they are not supposed to be drinking wine and they cannot be eating meat okay now you remember they were taken as captive and 70 years under three kings they were there you know what is god is speaking to us look at that now daniel lived out godly values 
he had a values a scriptural values because he was trained as a nazarin you know nazarins they cannot touch wine they cannot eat meat and they cannot you know compromise with the world they are chosen ones like his name his dress culture food country education surrounding everything change everything change you know sometimes i wonder when you go from india to america everything is changed like the situation is not so he lost his freedom and became a slave there he was probably made an enoch in spite of all this he decided to live a value based life depending on god the word of god and godly values he got from parental training might have helped him to be strong in his faith you know daniel lived out godly values and now you know daniel maintained purity in his life he resolved to stand for his conviction for the lord now the uh, um, nebuchadnezzar nebuchadnezzar has told the chief enoch who has been giving training in all the areas you to give royal food royal food and daniel sarak peshak and abit nego they said we cannot eat that food we cannot drink wine sorry but the enoch is telling what are you telling now god uh, king will come and test you and when he tests you you may be found wanting compared to the other people who are under training and he will kill me why do you put my life in danger daniel and his friends told don't worry god will take care god will take care maintain purity in life and you know you know so he agreed he agrees at 10 days you test 10 days you test we will eat only vegetarian food we will not eat any royal food like and some of god convinced that enoch okay he agreed for 10 days to test in 10 days at the end of 10 days you know you are found wanting compared to the other people we will go back to the royal food is it okay fine he decided to keep himself undefiled by not eating the food supply he determined to serve god regardless of the circumstances he had clear purpose in his life he has a clear purpose in his life my brothers and sisters even this evening when you are sitting and listening to god's word looking at the life of daniel do you have a clear purpose god has a plan in my life i cannot compromise he has brought me to this land with a purpose maybe a slave maybe you know you don't have the freedom as much as you may have the freedom in jerusalem but doesn't matter god has a plan you know there are priorities in our life you know the priority of the world is selfishness and materialism and that is how the world goes crazy but our priority christian priority love your neighbor renounce everything what is our stand in a situation we are in the world but not of the world you know there are three approaches as a christian one is isolation i have nothing to do with the society they are all non christian they don't have a stand for christ so i will not do anything i will not do anything you know that is an isolation i remember i had a classmate who was a believer in my degree level you know he was he will not even read the newspaper and ask him why you are not reading the newspaper all full of worldly you know then later what was happening and uh, he would not even read the tamil book he will not study why because all talks about hindu gods why should i read you know that is an isolation you will not fit into the society where god has brought you know you cannot touch me not like i always my friends are only believers right good but it no it doesn't work god has taken you to a particular place from jerusalem to babylon with a purpose to so not uh, live in isolation there are people who accommodate everything you know on sunday when you are in a retreat you are a christian but when you go back to office you compromise in everything you drink with them you dance with them you do this you do that you know all that can happen 
you know they behave like christians on sunday with a christian friends but when they are in the world they are act like everyone else fully compromised third approach is obedient involvement you know my citizenship is in heaven you know a god has kept me here so i will you know i will live but i will reflect christ i will show christ i will live like christ whatever difficulty i face whatever problem comes and i tell you my brothers and sisters god will protect there are so many instances if i start sharing you will be wondering there was a time when i came to bangalore you know when i was taking a stand with the uh, you know the importers and exporters they were trying to kill me i cannot share with my wife you know someone was challenging i will kill you when you are returning you go alone you know return from the office because you are not taking the bribe you are not allowing me to do things as i was doing you know it was a challenge that comes i cannot even share with my wife she will be scared you know but god said who is he to touch you unless i give him permission he protected and you know the time came i had to close the factory he was running you know even today in bangalore that's a testimony of the power of jesus christ you know we have to be we cannot you know a compromise and we cannot be living in isolation you know we have to be obedient involvement daniel accepted this approach seek the prosperity of the city to which i have carried you i have carried you if see can you kindly read jeremiah chapter 29 verse 4 to 7 jeremiah yes chapter 29 verse 4 to 7 this is what the lord almighty the god of israel says to all those i carried into exile from jerusalem to babylon build houses and settle down plant gardens and eat what they produce yeah. marry and have sons and daughters find wives for your sons and give your daughters in marriage so that they too may have sons and daughters increase in number there do not decrease also seek the peace and prosperity of the city to which i have carried you into exile pray to the lord for it because it is prosperous if it prospers you too will prosper you know god is making that through jeremiah beautifully when they were living in exiles like this they are in babylon they are not in jerusalem their heart is in jerusalem when we will go back to jerusalem my country uh, i can worship the lord there beautifully but god says blow some wherever he has planted you my brothers and sister he has not taken you to us by mistake he has a plan and a purpose you have to blow some for him let us not say how can we sing the song of the lord while in a foreign land uh, some of us are so heavenly minded and of no earthly use and others are so earthly minded of no heavenly use you know you have to put things together let us be heavenly minded and of earthly use you look like jesus and people may be able to see you lord you are our dwelling place our dwelling place is not a place but a person jesus christ he says i you are my dwelling place oh god and god says i you are you know you are the temple of god i dwell in you today the god lives in us the holy spirit lives in us and leads us and guides us you know it is not in a building daniel had trust in god daniel trusted god for his everyday life while death was uh, starting at his face he could trust god for the interpretation of you know king's dream he knew that everything was under god's control he continued to have faith in him god needs people who can believe him unconditionally whatever may be the situation oh god i know you are in control you are still on the throne this country has you know this country has a future because you are still on the throne you are still on the throne okay daniel had clear conviction and commitment and stood by it 
what does the eighth word reads you know eighth word daniel had a clear conviction you know i read for you the eighth verse but daniel resolved that he would not defile himself with the king's rich food or with the wine which he drank you know look at that he had a clear conviction i am a nazarite i belong to the king of king i belong to jesus christ i go to reflect him i will not compromise with the world drinking wine and rich food are not for a nazarene will not drink wine i will not defile myself you know in a society where we have a different value system you know we may be asking to do things we don't like but we should not compromise our christian principle we may have to go to parties that are boring and embarrassing because of heavy drinking and off color jokes and things like that we cannot avoid such things we cannot avoid such things okay but those things have to be faced if we are to remain in the structure in which we sit to serve the lord we are to serve the lord we need to study god's word as well as the events that are taking place in our society we must read what is written on the wall billy graham used to say you know integrate biblical truth with our life at home college or office and society you you read the bible and take the newspaper and bring the word of god to the world and the world may know god you reflect him do you stand by your commitments my brothers and sisters you have accepted christ and you have decided to follow him and you have taken a baptism to identify the inward transformation to be outwardly as an evidence not to copy in the examination children not to accept to bribe my brothers and sisters not to tell a lie to declare your faith that you are a christian to marry a believer no dowry no caste system no compromise you know god's word says i will do accordingly god honors daniel commitment firm him make a firm decision right at the start of your career like daniel this will make our position very clear very clear you know i read you 15th verse at the end of the 10 days it was seen that they were better in appearance and fatter in flesh than all the youths you know we read in verse 20 the king found them 10 times better oh, oh you see that 10 days you know the chief enoch was testing okay let me see 10 days he was testing with a vegetarian food no royal food you know they were better than others 10 times how wonderful it that let our conviction be communicated politely and respectfully with said an amount of explanation you know quite often when i was in vizag people go to tirupati and bring prasadam laddu and they say beautiful tasty eat that and all what should i do you know you have a clear stand you have a clear stand i can eat laddu no problem i know it is not given you know the idol has no power he is not god i do not worry about that but you know i don't want to become a stumbling block to a new believer so i have to behave as the lord leads you know 10 days he tested and you know they are they are handsome they are looking beautiful and their skill and their wisdom was 10 times better than all the other people who were eating royal food i tell you my brothers and sisters you belong to the lion of judah king of kings and god will exalt you if you honor you know if you honor god in your commitment god will honor you god honored daniel's commitment daniel and shadrach meshach abednego made a commitment we will not compromise we have made a commitment to follow him 
to become like him and to reflect to the world and god honor you take a stand i don't know what situation you go through my brother my sister you know this evening you know even as you are sitting and listening i do not know the situation you go through but remember if you as you have made a commitment if you stand by that god will honor god will honor your commitment God honored Daniel's commitment. I have heard of complaints from parents. You know, you know, uh, when the young people they make a commitment and follow Christ, they don't respect their parents. You know, I heard from we are involving with the EU ministry, student ministry, and the students accept the Lord. When they go back home, they don't respect the parents because they are not much educated. They are not believers. you know these what the complaints like i went uh, to preach in a church uh, at vizag on sunday after the sunday an old man came running and hugged me he said what is the matter he said oh praise god i have two daughters jaya and vijaya and you know they have uh, become a believers in your eu meeting students meeting and you know they are obeying me they are obeying us they are helping my wife in the kitchen they are you know they are respecting us you know change has happened that has to happen they have to look at and now because of that me and my wife we start having family prayer started you know they are two girls their life was reflecting christ and that should be the testimony in your home in your office we are the test of the gospel in this world they may see your good work and you know praise your father in given they belong to christ they are christian how wonderful it is that is what god wants god honored daniel's commitment daniel was not panic when something seemed to go wrong that is what we were reading in the second chapter the second chapter you know nebuchad nezar had a bad dream he was disturbed so he was calling all the magicians all the wise people and uh, of uh, you know babylon because so many wise men were there they were pay taking care of by the by the king and he was telling them you tell me the dream and also tell me the interpretation because what they used to do this magician they come and tell some story as interpretation they have no insight because there is no the living god in them they cannot have an insight simply sooth saying telling a story and get a favor from the king and king realized they are telling lie so the king was telling this time you will not give me the interpretation straight you tell me the dream and then give the interpretation then i will know you are doing the right thing okay and these people were telling who can tell it is very difficult you nobody on earth can do that but the king said no nothing doing if you are not doing i will kill you and the whole family i will eradicate from the face of the earth all the magician now daniel and his friends also become the magicians and the people of the wisdom so they also will be killed now you know the chief soldier comes to pick up daniel daniel says what is the matter and the chief of the enoch he is explaining this is the matter then he said no 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 don't don't pick up don't kill us now we will take time i will explain to the king nebuchad nezar with the wisdom of god you know he did not get panic he did not get panic you know he said he is going to god in prayer and he is asking his friends to go into prayer so that god may reveal the dream when we are in his will let us not get panic seeing a problem Daniel did not become panic when he sees a problem. Today we see a problem, the pandemic, COVID nineteen. 
corona don't get panic don't get panic whatever happens god has a plan christians are not insulated from problem difficulties and persecution and that is what one of you were raising question you know maybe the um, you know trump may not be not to not taking care of the christian compromising with the things difficulties doesn't matter it may happen even in india people are getting persecuted doesn't matter we are not insulated but god will honor let us not fix our eyes on the problem rather fix our eyes on christ count it all joy my brethren when you go through various problem you know that is what the brother of jesus christ james writes count it all joy my brethren when you go through various trials difficulties and the problem because all the situation will make you perfect and turn you to become like jesus you know that is what the need of the hour all these problem all these difficulties make you perfect and complete to become like him you know i can share with you various experiences of mine but i tell you my brothers i have experience daniel was alert and ready to intervene daniel considered the social problem as his problem he was alert to know what was happening and what would happen and he kept quiet he was not panic but he was alert he was reading what was written on the wall do we understand that do we understand what is happening around in our own country the whole world we should know what is happening and we should be ready to intervene and that was the question one of you were raising yesterday should we see the situation and keep quiet you cannot keep quiet you have to intervene what did what did daniel do he ran to god in prayer some of us don't bother about the injustice that may take place around us as long as we are not affected i'm happy one of you raised that question what should we do when injustice happen should we do anything or should we just pray no much more than that you pray and see what god is leading that is why mordekai was warning yes sir you know you know then uh, uh, naman is wanted to kill all the jews and he was alerting yes sir that is the proper channel you are queen you are sitting in that place don't keep silence such at such a time like this but you and your father's house will perish but the salvation will come through some other channel you decide whether you need the blessing you know that is what is needed in fact you know this is the exact word you know god was calling me with a burden god was calling me to go to andhra pradesh to start the student ministry i did not know telugu i did not know how the play which place i have to go how is the student ministry but god was giving a burden you know it was becoming heavy i had to decide to go to andhra pradesh god opened the door from the customs department i joined because god was calling me to go to andhra pradesh he put me in you know visagapatnam when i landed there it was a very dirty place when i landed there from the station it was called walter railway station i was going to take a room in the lord the place was so dirty it was a open toilet and when i sat to sit and have a breakfast that scene was coming to my memory i felt like vomiting i could not eat i could not talk any telugu you know i wanted to start the student ministry i was going to the university the same first day evening in uphills i was climbing and going when i went and i was in the corridors of the university people were talking telugu which i would not understand i was praying god why did you bring me to this place i cannot understand the language i cannot appreciate the culture and the place is so dirty why you know i was struggling i was struggling and you know when i was struggling and you know i get call for a meeting of 
you know, consultation. You know, so many people came. You know, Brother Dina Bandhu from Machili Patnam and Dr. Deva Fall from, you know, Warangal. And there is, uh, you know, there's uh, Brother Sarkiti Rao from Karnul Stockholder. And he was preaching. He was challenging. He was telling, you know, when I was thinking that I will go back to Chennai, God was speaking through this message. You know, if you keep silence in a time like this, but, you know, you know, the God will establish, start a student ministry through somebody else. But you and your household, you will perish. I had to take a decision to stay back at Vizac. You know, I decided to stay two years, but I did not stay two years. I stayed 20, more than 20 years. And that's what it is. My brothers and sisters, God is, has taken you there with your purpose. You know, I can go on talking about various things what we were doing in Andhra Pradesh. You know, you would know about the freedom of religious will, which was introduced by O.P. Tyahi in 80s. And, you know, if 12 people of us went to a place called Katapa under Dr. Dev Paul, and we were praying, we were praying the Murarji Desai government should fall and this freedom of religious bill should not be, you know, implemented. You know, we prayed two days and, you know, fasting and prayer. And at the end of the day, everybody said, praise the Lord, the government is going to fall. Then everybody said that. Within me, there was a doubt. Okay, I also declared, but how can the government fall because just 12 people were praying? But it fell. It fell. You know, that is what the work of God. God has a plan. God has a plan. I tell you, my brothers and sisters, there was an anti-conversion bill that was introduced in 90s by the chief minister of Tamil Nadu, Jayalalitha. You know, in fact, I was praying with a man of God called H.S. Ponuraj, you know, in, in, you know, in the, you know, UESI training center, fasting and praying, and God was guaranteed, don't worry, the government will fall. It will not come to power. I give you five years time. You go and decentralize all the states in North India with that aggressiveness, with that aggressiveness, I went. You know, I was made as a, a president of USA and they was talking to the, um, you know, all the board members and we have to be doing something for North India. And five years grace time he has given. And, you know, it happened. It happened. You know, Daniel was alert and ready to intervene in our profession. Many such things may happen, but please be alert. Don't say like the German pastor in the Nazi camp. They came to pick up everyone else. I did not bother. But when they came to pick me up to kill me, there was nobody. There was nobody. God was asking Cain, where is your brother Abel? Abel was, you know, what was Cain telling? Am I my brother's keeper? I tell you, you are your brother's keeper. Everyone is a brother there in America for you. Whether they are from India or some, any other country, you know, you are your brother's keeper. You have to pay. Daniel sought the help of like-minded people. He is asking, uh, come, let's pray. It is important to share with friends of our problem. That is why the fellowship is existing. You cannot do it alone. Believers help us to respond wisely. And they all started praying. They did not call for a consultation. Rather, they went for prayer. Daniel brought the problem to God first. Prayer. Daniel did not call for a consultation, but prayer. There's a great strength in corporate prayer. When the disciple prayed, Peter was released from the prison. You remember, you know, when Peter, they couldn't, when they were praying and Peter was released from the, you know, prison and he comes and knocks at the door and the girl opens and she was surprised. She thought it is the ghost of Peter. It is, but Peter was telling, you know, you were praying, God was answering. 
there is what the power of prayer god answered daniel and his friends prayer god is a prayer answering god god is a prayer answering god you have to pester you have to wait on till you know he makes a decision you you don't force god to say yes you know god has his own way of leading habakkuk was asked to wait when he prayed about the injustice how can you know my you know um, uh, wicked people come and destroy righteous people god says wait you write the vision i have a plan i will accomplish daniel glorified god when god answered his prayer when god answered his prayer when he got the vision and the interpretation you know when you know he had to go and tell the king he glorified god he is the one he revealed the vision he is the one he revealed the dream of the king i will go and tell i will go and tell daniel did not steal the glory from god i could do that no it is god who revealed he did not become proud he glorified god in front of others you know if you read verse you know uh 24 to onwards and things like that 19 to 23 you know he is praising god glorifying god wonderful and you know when nebuchadnezzar heard the dream you know he was changed he was transformed he was telling the god of daniel shadrach meshach abed nego is the god you have to worship him you have to worship him he was the one he revealed are you a caterpillar or a butterfly today have you do you have a change in life are you flying like a butterfly or you you are crawling like a caterpillar itching somebody you know you can look a beautiful butterfly fly like that the transformation has to be taking place that is why god has called us you are justified by his grace but you have to be sanctified in reading god's word obeying and going forward to become like him shall we bow head and look to god in prayer few minutes few minutes close your heart and listen to him what is he speaking to you my brothers and sisters what is he telling you don't settle down in the gutters you have to fly high you have to fly high like a butterfly don't crawl like a caterpillar god is calling you god is calling you father we want to thank you for this time for your word may we be able to apply in our individual life and respond to you oh master every one of them lord or oh master we want to see them all to fly high lord that is your purpose all to become like you and reflect you in their life may this happen anything that comes on the way in the name of jesus lord we bind and throw a oh master you victory in their life thank you lord any small conflict any small misunderstanding O oh Lord, a fear, a grip of O oh Master, fear for their life. Everything in the name of Jesus, Lord O oh Master, that may be thrown out into the fire, and you would give them victory to fly. They are not in chains. Fly, O oh Master, like Daniel. Let them continue to make a commitment, the principles of the Scripture, and O oh Master, you would help them. 
to stand by it and you would honor their commitment oh master thank you lord thank you thank you that they may be able to honor you they may be able to bring glory to you because you are going to honor their commitment thank you lord thank you master thank you accept our thanksgiving in jesus precious name we pray amen amen, amen.